Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How are you students? Today we will study unit number 11, the second chapter of uh, class 10th, sound. Today, uh, today we, uh, lecture number 7. Today is lecture number 7. Today topic is intensity of sound. Intensity of sound. Sound intensity is defined as the power carried by sound waves per unit area in a direction perpendicular to that area. If area is perpendicular to the power exerted by the sound, is called intensity of sound. Intensity of sound is if it is represented by I. Intensity of sound then it will be equal to power exerted per unit area. Power per unit area. The area must be perpendicular. The area must be perpendicular. This is the intensity of sound. The intensity of sound. Sound energy passing per second to a unit area held perpendicular to a direction of propagation of sound waves is called intensity of sound. According to the second definition, intensity of sound is equal to work per unit time per unit area. is called intensity of sound. Unit of intensity according to the second equation is unit of intensity is joule per second per meter square. And the unit according to the first equation is Watt per meter square. So watt per meter square is this is equal to joule per second per meter square per, per meter square per square meter. So intensity of sound is the power exerted on unit area held perpendicular to the sound, propagation of sound, to the direction of sound. Our sound energy passing per second to a unit area held perpendicular to the direction of propagation of sound waves is called intensity of sound. This a unit of sound of intensity of sound is joule per second per square meter or watt per meter square. Now, sound intensity. Intensity is defined as power per unit area. Power per unit area and power is work per unit time so so here force into distance work is force dot product of force and display distance putting it all together intensity of work being done by the sound wave on your ears loudness is our response to intensity loudness is our response to intensity here, the second column is not visible, this one, but I will uh, read for you people. Loudness is subjective in nature. Intensity is objective in nature. Loudness is not completely physical. Intensity is physical quantity. Loudness depends upon the sensitivity of the air. Intensity does not depend on the sens sensitivity of air. Unit of loudness is decibel. 
and intensity is what per square meter it is very important now sound intensity and loudness intensity of sound is energy per unit area per unit time loudness is the human perception to the intensity of sound loudness is roughly intensity level and the formula is written for uh, here beta is equal to 10 log 10 in decibel the lowest audible sound have a frequency this is the lowest audible sound 10 is to power minus 12 watt per meter square or 0 decibel is the lowest intensity of the human ear can hear this 0 decibel is the intensity level and this is the loudness so the sound having loudness 10 to the power minus 12 watt per meter square have zero intensity level zero intensity level each picture each sound uh, if you uh, um, want to observe between uh, to study the intensity level of different sounds the scale will change by 10. Each sound will have a difference of 10 more, but if you study periodically, a periodic difference will be 10. So, when you want to calculate the intensity level, you compare the sound whose intensity you want to calculate. For example, you want to calculate the intensity level of your physics teacher. <clears throat> you will compare the loudness of your physics teacher to the pen test audible sound which uh, the, uh, and the pen test audible sound have frequency 10 to the power minus 12 watt per meter square so if pen, a pen test audible sound is compared with pen test audible sound the difference in the loudness will be zero if you want to measure the height of your physics teacher and you comparing uh, to calculate the difference in height of that teacher with the height of the same teacher, the difference will be zero. So fantastic audible sound is the reference sound. So the reference sound have zero loudness, uh, intensity level. Intensity levels allows to compare intensity of two sounds. If same sound is compared with the uh, pen test audible sound is compared with pen test audible sound and the intensity level will be zero. Otherwise, it has some values. Instead of linear relation of the two intensities, uh, the Gratham relation with the unit of bill has been used, introduced. In practice, decibel intensity level L uh, is uh, decibel is used. The unit of intensity level is DC bell. Don't get confused. Bell is also the larger unit and DC bell is the smaller unit. This relation is called weber pechner law. The loudness is equal to 10 log I divided by I naught. And the answer must be in DC bell when 10 is written. Threshold frequency 1 kilohertz of 1 kilohertz tone have loudness 10 to the power minus 12 watt per meter square. Memorize these values. Loudness. Loudness of sound is measured in decibel. I have uh, written again and again because it comes in paper. The louder the sound, the higher the amplitude of you. Different uh, uh, Loudness of different sound have been written. Intensity and pitch. The pitch of sounds depend on the frequency of the tone that the air receive. High, high notes are produced by an object that is vibrating a greater number of times per second than per a low note. The intensity of sound is the amount of energy crossing a unit area in unit time or the power flowing the unit area. The SI unit is watt per square meter. The loudness of the sound depend upon the subjective uh, upon the subjective effect of intensity of sound waves 
on the human ear. Loudness and amplitude. Loudness, more will be the amplitude, more will be the loudness. The loudness of a sound waves depend on its amplitude. Louder sound waves have larger amplitude. Pressure variation. A stereo speaker move back and forth a greater distance when producing a louder sound and then when producing a soft sound. So intensity and pitch are interlinked a little bit and loudness is linked with the amplitude. Different intensity levels of sound. Now this is very important, sound intensity level. Sound intensity level is the difference in the loudness of two sound. The difference in the loudness of two sound is called intensity level. For example, intensity level is the difference is equal to loudness of the sound whose intensity level you want to measure and loudness of when test audible sound loudness of when test audible <coughs> sound so the human ear responds to intensity ranging from 10 to 4 minus 12 watt per meter square to more than one watt per meter square this sound have frequency 20 hertz and this is 20,000 kilohertz 20,000 kilohertz because range is so wide intensity are scaled by a factor of 10 the loudness of, uh, of, of sound depend not only on the intensity of sound but also on the physical condition of the air. The human ear is more sensitive to some frequencies rather than the other. Loudness of the sound is directly proportion, proportional to the logarithm of intensity. That is, L is directly proportional to log i. L is equal to k log i, where k is constant of proportionality. This, memorize this, this is Weber Pechner law. Loudness is directly proportional to logarithm of intensity of sound. It comes in short answers, always, and it will be. Now, we will continue to next page. Let L not be the loudness of pentest audible sound and I not be the intensity of pentest audible sound and L be the loudness of unknown sound whose intensity I whose intensity is I. L not is equal to K log I not. L minus L not is equal to K is taken common log I minus log I not. K log I divided by I not. You will write it like this. The difference in loudness between the loudness L of unknown sounds and the loudness of when test audible sound is called intensity level. So this value is the difference. The difference in the loudness of, of the sound. So it will in place of that we will write this intensity level and the formula. Now intensity level is the difference in the intensities of sound, in the loudness of sound. The value of K depend not only on the unit of I and I naught, but also on the unit of intensity level. If intensity I of any unknown sound is 10 times greater than the intensity I not of the uh, fantastic audible sound, then 
intensity of unknown sound will be equal to 10 i naught simply an intensity level of such sound is taken as unit called bill the value of k becomes one therefore using k is equal to one equation can be written as intensity level is equal to log i divided by i naught if you use unit bill you will use this formula you get the unit the constant value will be one if you use this unit the constant value is one and k is equal to 10 if you use dc bill bell is very large unit of intensity level of sound generally the smaller unit is called decibel is used decibel is abbreviated as db it must be remembered that one bell is equal to 10 decibel if the intensity level is measured in decibel then equation equation can be written as under for measuring the intensity level of sound such scale is known as dc scale so intensity level unit is DC bell. Legally, you will write this one. Okay. Bell, you will not write. Although it's a unit. Now, intensity level is written in DC bell. The unit of intensity is watt per meter square. Watt per meter square. Decibel. Comparison of the sound of, of the sound energy of a noise with that of one just detectable at the threshold of hearing. Absolute measurement of the sound energy. Incident on an area in a given time. The date detectable energy is called intensity level and absolute measurement of sound is called intensity reflection reflection of sound is our next coming topic speed of sound and the rest of the things we will do I will do classification of audible sounds, musical sounds. The sound which produce pleasing effect on the air is called musical sounds. Sounds of sitar, violin, flute, noise. The sound that produce a jarring effect, unpleasing effect on the air and unpleasing to hearing, to hear, is called noise. Sound of a road, traffic, cracker, aeroplane. So any sound which produce pleasing effect on our air is called musical sound. And the sound which produce unpleasing effect is called noise. Noise pollution. Sound which are pleasant to our air are called musical sound. Sound which has jarring and unpleasing effect on our air is called noise. Noise correspond to irregular and sudden vibration produced by some sound. Safe level of noise, in, of noise depend on two factors. Level of the noise, period of, to ex, uh, period of exposure to the noise. Effect of noise pollution. Noise have, has negative effect on human health as it causes conditions such as hearing loss, sleep disturbance, aggression, hypertension, high stress level. Nice can also cause accidents by interfering with communication. So nice pollution can create hypertension, aggression, sleep disturbance, high stress level, hearing loss. These are the disadvantages of nice pollution. So intensity level we studied today we studied river fish uh, musical sounds and uh, the effect of noise pollution which is aggression sleep disturbance hearing loss high stress level 
hypertension and so on. So thank you students. It is today lecture and next in next lecture we will finish this chapter. Thank you students. I played this tune now because it's new freezing effect on your air and uh, it is called musical sound.